Good morning, everybody. So we're gonna try to vlog every day in June. Hey friends, if you're new here, my name is Stevie and I'm a full-time teacher, part-time YouTuber, just trying to live the best life possible. It's a whole new world. I pride myself in being as realistic as possible so you won't find a completely white house or super aesthetic drink glasses. But what you will find is a 30 something trying to be happy and healthy. To get you up to speed, I've been focusing on my health for the last nine months and went from this to this. I focus on a realistic approach to weight loss, so you'll see me eat bread and all the other yummy carbs life has to offer. I went from being too afraid to walk into the gym to deadlifting over 150 pounds. If any of this interests you, I invite you to stick around, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much! Wish me luck. Alright, so breakfast is we got oatmeal free. And then this is only like 300 calories. So then we added for like 250, some Greek yogurt because we need the protein and I love the Greek yogurt here, so. And then, of course, duh. I am so full. I got all the fiber, all the protein in that meal. That was so much volume for a right around 500 calories. Now, if I had to pay for both of them, that'd be a very expensive meal. It'd be like $12 for some oatmeal and some yogurt. But I didn't have to pay for it, so it's fine. We don't wanna go home. It's starting to rain now. Oh, did I tell you guys? It's our anniversary today. We've been married for five years. Five. And in our first year of marriage, we went into COVID. Being in quarantine together as newlyweds, that should be at least two years of experience <laughs> under our belts. So we've been married for seven years. I'm joking. We're just driving around because I don't feel like going home. We're gonna go check out, see if it's nine o'clock, see if Dick's Sporting Goods is open because they got some cool stuff. We don't go there very often, so you know, just window shopping, but it might end up in Target. So, because we know Target is open. We're at Sam's now. I forgot to show you guys Dick's, so sorry. A folding e-bike. We're just looking at stuff because we're bored. What? Comment below, but I think Costco has the better clothing than Sam's Club. Ooh, this is a good price. $25 for this and you get three, uh, or excuse me, four refills. If you spend time outside, Thermosel is where it's at. It's good stuff. I personally think that our dogs should have bunk beds and we can put a little ramp up for Simon to get up to the top, personally. No, you, I think Bush would try to climb up. You just hear a random thud in the middle of the night. <laughs> it's Butch falling off of the uh, bunk bed. Okay, friends, what is the point of a cooling throw? Isn't that counterintuitive? Like, isn't the point of a blanket is to keep you warm, but it's cooling you? I don't understand this. I just wanna hop into this and just like get lost. I just wanna go like, oh. Oh my God, it's so cute. Are those ears? Yeah. Oh, wow. ears on a budget. Babe. You don't like wearing ears. They hurt your ears. I know. The tea's for Caitlin, not for me. I don't like it's raspberry. Only it is only 90 calories. The Tums was like a last minute thing, but when we both saw them, we're like, yes. That's where we're at. We're in our Tums era, <laughs> I guess. And then the tortilla is like, it, you, they're the same price here were like three times as much so the music was way too loud so i couldn't use the audio but i was just saying how this was one of our favorite restaurants and we don't really go here because we have to drive to it and kate was really nice and she parked the car and she let me out so i wouldn't have to rock in the walk in the rain i had a blueberry wheat beer and this used to be pretzel sticks when kate wasn't looking i got on the jukebox app and played our wedding our first dance song and we had a moment, it was very sweet. We have decided we're gonna go sit in the hot tub at our gym for a while. It's not a workout day, it's a rest day. Thank the Lord, because I am so sore. I'm not gonna vlog, because obviously, water. Also, I've noticed that I have a nervous habit of picking at this thing right here, that's why it's like that. Ugh. Also, do you see the scab or the scar right there? That's from when I was a kid, but uh, Check 
JK, apparently the gym closes at two again. No one decided to tell anybody about it. So we drove here and I was ready to soak this very sore body. I have abs, I found out. <laughs> I found out, I have obliques too. I found that out too, because they are very sore. But, oh well. So it's now Sunday that was yesterday that I filmed and that had to be one of the most random choppy <laughs> vlogs I've ever shot in my entire life. When we got home, I was like in a food coma and we napped. It was great. So it was a super chill day. So I wanted to, because like this vlog is shorter, I wanted to add a workout I did, I think the day before on Friday. Um, I film almost every single one of my workouts for like sh short purposes, well not shorts. I'm not making shorts anymore, I've decided. If you like that kind of content, go over to Instagram. I'll link it down below. It's always linked down below. Uh, and I post reels, but shorts just don't perform well on my channel. And when they do perform well on my channel, I get subscribers that don't watch anything else and then they unsubscribe. So right now my channel is going in this weird phase where I'm losing and gaining like the same same 10 subscribers for like the last two weeks because of that. Like I'm I'm still getting subscribers, but I'm losing subscribers like on, on the daily. And it's because I, I really do think it's because of shorts. So no more shorts on this channel. If you feel very strongly about it, comment down below, tell me, whoa, Stevie, I did not sign up for this. I wanted shorts. It, they're important to me. Let me know because right now they're not important to me and I I personally think that shorts kind of ruined YouTube. I don't I don't know why YouTube had to have shorts. They don't need to be TikTok. They and honestly, Instagram, they could go back to just food pictures, honestly. Anybody remember, ooh, look at my arm. Like, there's some definition there. Like, you can see the loose skin hanging off there. That's me flexing, and I'm not like pumped up or anything. Dang. Okay, ADHD. <sighs> oh, ADHD. That's, thank you for reminding myself. Okay, so I was gonna go to the doctor for ADHD medication. And pretty much the only thing they can do is ask a series, excuse me, they ask a series of questions. But I, when I set up the appointment on the app, they ask like what symptoms you're having. And I kinda like, they don't, they only give you like 200 characters. So I said, you know, I'm interested in ADHD medicine. They call back the next day before my appointment and they're like, well, I mean, we don't really know what you want us to do with your depression. Boy, this is not depression. I know what depression is. And I think that's what's hard about mental health is that so many mental illnesses or health con mental health conditions overlap. Like, I feel like depression and anxiety is a symptom of pretty much every mental illness known to man or mental health condition known to man. I don't know how I feel about mental illness, but they're like, well, we can give you a number to a therapist. That's all we can do for you. So I guess I'm looking for a psychiatrist and I'm just gonna have to keep managing this, which is not easy. <laughs> um, I'm just, I just feel like I'm all over the place, but back, we're gonna go back to the workout. So I've changed up my workouts a little bit. I want to focus more on mobility. I feel like I'm losing a little bit of mobility and also uh, after a lot of reflection, sitting on the couch waiting for my knee to feel better. Oh, also I'm getting a new primary care physician. But anyway, um, I, what was I talking about? Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> I have, after reflection, my whole life, I've not accepted my limitations. And normally that's a good thing. Push, you know, push yourself, right? Well, listen, when you don't move your body for your entire life, and then you start pushing your body to pass your, your, your limitations, you're gonna get injured. It's just, that's what's gonna happen, you know? So I, I think I just over, did it and I had to go back to my why. Why am I doing all of this? And it's to be the most happiest, healthiest person imaginable, possible, and also to live a long and healthy life, be able to move while I'm aging, right? Because I feel like once you lose that mobility, that's when your health 
really goes downhill from my experience as I watched a few of my family members um, decline in their health. So mobility is pretty up there on the list. So I started doing more functional exercises and they kicked my butt. That's why I'm so sore. I did these flutter kicks and this is part of my PT to help strengthen some of those muscles on my lower, my lower half. Three sets each 30 seconds with a, I think 10 or 15 minute second rest in between. And dang, that got my heart going like, woo. And then I also did, um, I don't know what they're called. I'll have to look, but you're in a push up position. And then your goal is to touch your toes but I couldn't reach my toes, could only reach my knees. And that is okay. We're gonna, that's where we're starting. And that was killer. That is when I learned I had abs. And then the other one was the push up and then the cross body and, or the push up plank thing, majig. I feel like I had to get the, the majig in there. I just, it just felt right. <laughs> what? what? Okay. <laughs> but anyway, so you're in a push up and then you gotta tap, tap, and then you push up or let down and then push back up. But girl, I'm still struggling on those push-ups, And that was a uh, New Year's resolution. So we gotta get back in that. And then I did the Arnold press, which like, did you hear that pop? Oh, oh my God. I did the Arnold press, which I've never done before. And like something about that, like that was tiring. You know, I do pre shoulder presses, 25 to 30 pounds. My PR is 35 pounds. And I think I was doing 20 pounds, I think. And that, that was like, dang, I'm feeling just that motion, you know? And now I'm just checking myself out. Look at, look at that. Look at that definition. Ah. And also um, an update on my little sloth mound, my sloth dip. We need to name it, okay? Comment down below. If you're a long time subscriber, you know what I'm talking about. If you're new here, you're probably clicking off because I'm just a little too weird for you. But wait a minute, there's a clip. Be smarter, Stephanie. Okay, so my uh, my little sloth dip, they're getting, they're getting, getting, getting bigger, which is good. Cause that means like I'm losing like fat on my arms. You see, you see that? But also like, how low can we go? <laughs> all the way to the floor. Like, am I gonna be like 50 years old and my little sloth dips are gonna just be like, like people that stretch out their ears like to really big and then they don't have the things and then they're hanging down there. Is that what this is gonna be? If so, we might have to get that removed. But that's that's not a, that's not a Stevie today problem. That's a Stevie in the future problem. So I'm not gonna worry about it. But where the sloth thing came in was one video, I don't remember when. Somebody, if you know when I said this, um, I said I should I should uh, tattoo a little sloth hanging right there on, on this little piece of skin, which I don't even know if you could tattoo like loose skin. Probably not. <sighs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this random piece of um, video evidence of my life. Um, we did stuff that day and then we ate food and that's that's pretty much it but i will see you guys tomorrow because remember we're vlogging every day in june because i'm crazy <laughs> but if you could please 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 it helps the channel so much and i have so many goals for this channel uh hit the thumbs up button it really helps me out and helps this channel out if you value this content click on it because that's really what youtube uh really looks for okay so if you want to know how the algorithm works okay um, YouTube wants people to stay on their platform, obviously, right? So based on the kind of videos you watch, YouTube will suggest other videos like it, but YouTube will only, it will filter out the videos of not quality, probably like this one, not the greatest quality. Let's be honest, this video was so like a video with a bunch of likes and a lot of like how many people click on it and how long people watch or comment uh, YouTube will be like okay so a lot of people like this video and this video is about the same thing this person is watching so we're gonna take this video and put it in front of them that's how the algorithm works but the thing is people have to click on it which I have not figured out I'm not good at thumbnails thumbnails are very important apparently <sighs> I am not an artiste. I am but a mere musician. And those who can't do teach. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. 
those who can do can also teach. Those that can do might not also teach. Some of the worst teachers are professionals, like professional musicians. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you. Okay, it's getting weird. I'm just going to close this. What a freak. Weirdo. Oh my gosh. I'm in a, such a weird mood right now. Wow. This video was um, 7 minutes and 51 section, seconds before this clip. I've talked. I rambled for 13 minutes. Astonishing. I will see you guys tomorrow, but until then, be kind to yourself. Bye.